सो हाई एवरी वन वेलकम टू बाई जूस एग्जाम प्रेप सिविल मैकेनिकल एंड एग्जी यूट्यूब चैनल सो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट द सैलरी पर्क फेसिलिटीज एंड ऑल द अलाउंसेज दैट यू आर गोइंग टू गेट इन इसरो एज अ साइंटिस्ट और इंजीनियर इन द एस सी कैटेगरी दिस कैटेगरी इज बेसिकली द टेक्निकल कैटेगरी फ्रॉ इन विच द पोस्ट आर बींग नाउ रिलीज सो इस वीडियो में हम हर एक जो सैलरी का कॉम्पोनेंट है वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दैट कॉम्पोनेंट दैट यू आर गोइंग टू गेट आफ्टर द सेलेक्शन एट द एंट्री लेवल ओनली बिफोर आई बिगिन क्विकली इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ टू दोज हुर वॉचिंग मी फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम एंड इफ यू आर वॉचिंग अस फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इट मीन्स यू हैव एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल येट सो क्विकली सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड लेट्स गो थ्रू माई क्विक इंट्रोडक्शन my name is joshit singh and i have 4 plus years of teaching experience now i am mtech from iit roorkee and my achievements are that i have qualified gate lot of times and also 2018 topper area of expertise is transportation and let's say this these things are not relevant for this particular video right i have done my work i have done my research and today we are going to talk about these key take aways you can see what we are going to talk about in today's session we are going to talk about how much in hand salary you are going to get if you will be selected for isro scientist position what is the perks that you will be getting the allowances that you will be getting and all the exceptional facilities that you get as an engineer or a scientist in isro so let's start with the very fundamental and the basic thing and that is a quick motivation regarding money as we all know it is the driving force that can achieve that can help you to achieve anything in the life so the first thing which i would like to tell you is remember this is a very famous saying i just want you to know this that when i was young i used to think money was the most important thing in my life or in anybody's life and now that i am old i know that it is so jo log bolte hai ki paise se jo hai khushiyan nahi khareedi jati paisa hi sab kuch nahi hota hai ya to unke paas paisa hota hi nahi hai ya unke paas itna sara hota hai ki wo chahte hi nahi hai ki kisi aur ke paas ho तो इसलिए पहले कमाएंगे और फिर फिलोसोफर बनेंगे सो लेट्स 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 गेट इन टू द वीडियो द बेसिक पॉइंट विच आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट फर्स्ट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द बेसिक सैलरी दैट यू गेट इन इसरो एज अ साइंटिस्ट सो दिस बेसिक सैलरी यू आर गोइंग टू गेट इज एट द लेवल टेन ऑफ पे मेट्रिक्स एज पर द सेवेंथ पे कमीशन गाइज सेंट्रल पे कमीशन वॉट यू आर गोइंग टू गेट you will be get minimum basic pay of 56100 per month guys 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 do not get disappointed with the less salary because let me tell you this is just a basic salary no facility no allowances nothing is being added to this right now so i will tell you that what are the facilities will be adding and what is the percentage and obviously i'll be telling you what is the percentage of increment you are going to get every year in your job as a scientist and when you get the promotion to the higher post then what is going to be the increment in such case right so for all the government jobs everybody which are at level 10 of pay matrix remember the minimum basic pay is 56100 and may, uh, the the maximum one can go up to 1.5 lakh 2 lakh also okay so this was the basic pay now keep on adding keep on adding the amount which i'm going to tell you guys next thing apart from basic is the house rent allowance which is also called as hra now let's understand what are here in hra everybody so hra depends upon the city you are posted in whether it is a class x city y or class z city so class x cities are basically you can say that tier 1 cities if you are living there obviously the rent will be higher and that is the reason why the uh, hra the house rent allowance is being kept around 24% of the basic salary and for other cities 16 and for minor cities it is 8 percent if you exactly want to know which city comes under x y or z you can read the nxr which is being given on the government website okay i am assuming you are from let's say uh, some tier 1 city or basically where you are posted that is what it matters right so let's say you are posted in the bangalore only right bangalore office jo hai inka there you are posted 
so you will be getting 24% of the basic salary what after this what after this has to be add in your basic salary now apart from hra you also get the transport allowance transport allowance which is called as ta so in the major cities it is 7200 rupees per month and in other cities it is 3600 rupees per month again if you want to know the city it is available in the next year on the government website now remember one thing everybody this is per month and again i am considering you will be posted in bangalore so again you will be having 7200 rupees per month as ta in your <coughs> account with the salary then there is a dearness allowance the dearness uh, dearness allowance is five percent of the basic pay in isro that is 20 28 Zero five, two thousand eight hundred five, two thousand eight zero five rupees, and DA on TA is three sixty rupees per month. Now, if I add all this, everyone, the gross salary comes out to be, as you can see, seventy nine thousand nine hundred and twenty nine. So, those students who were getting disappointed by looking at just fifty six thousand one hundred rupees per month, now you can be slightly happy because you are getting seventy nine thousand nine hundred and twenty nine. But wait. Wait, 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 wait. Let me just recall all the things right first. Then I will tell you why I said wait. Basic salary fifty six thousand one hundred. HRA thirteen thousand four hundred sixty four. Twenty four percent of this. TA seventy two hundred. DA two eight zero five. And DA on TA is three sixty seventy nine thousand nine hundred twenty nine. But beta till now no deductions have been discussed. This is not in hand salary. This is not in hand salary. Now let me tell you what is the deductions that you have to pay from your salary. So deductions first is NPS. NPS is nothing. It is National Pension Scheme. As you all know now, in government jobs, in the government jobs, you don't get pension. All you have to do is there will be a NPS account which will be open, and even if you are in a private company, then also you can have your own NPS. In NPS, <coughs> you can uh, contribute. By yourself, but in this case, the government is contributing uh, from your salary only five thousand eight hundred and ninety-one rupees per month. They are going to put in the NPS account in the tier one. There are two tier: tier one and tier two. Tier one, whatever amount you put in tier one, that amount can only be taken after you are retired, right? And though that amount is completely tax-free, but the amount which you put in tier two. Which is not being uh, kept by the government, but you can do it by yourself. It is. It has to be uh, tax uh, taxable, right? The amount you will be earning from there, it will be taxable. Additional deduction is income tax, CHSS, canteen, professional tax, everything three thousand five hundred, and then net in hand salary. Is going to be seventy thousand varies with taxes. If some other taxes are also being applied, but yeah. All in all, approximately seventy thousand is the amount that you are going to get in your bank account every first date of the month. Now let's talk about more, more additional perks. What are the perks? No PRIS. You are also get PRIS twice a year. You get it, which is twenty percent of basic, which is one lakh thirty four thousand six hundred and forty twice a year. Every alternate year you are going to right. Okay, okay. Twice a year means you are going to get it. Twice a year, one year में दो बारी you are getting this twenty percent of what the basic pay. So don't worry, guys. That fifty six thousand one hundred was just basic. There is lot and lot more coming. Then there is group also group PRIS, which is not fixed, but yeah, it remains somewhere around sixty seven thousand only. Then NPS cover contribution seventy thousand six hundred ninety two. The contribution which I have told you in the deduction. And professional update allowance is twenty two thousand five hundred. Now, अगर इसको हम सबको add करे, उससे पहले LTC is also there. What is LTC? LTC is basically nothing but airfare will be provided to and fro, आना जाना from hometown or another place. People claim up to one point five lakhs for self and family. You can either go to your hometown or you can also go for any holiday with your family. The family member should be dependent on you, and you can claim up to one point five lakhs. So every year you get this LTC also, which is available in every government job. Now the last verdict. Before that, let me talk about the inc uh, increment in promotion. Every year there is a three percent increase in your basic salary, irrespective of your performance. Bitta, even if you don't perform, even if you are an average performer, three percent increase in basic salary will be there. Now, don't think three percent is only increased in fifty-six thousand one hundred. Why? Because HRA will also increase, TA will also increase, DA will also increase because everything is percentage of basic salary only. Now, every four year you will be called for a promotional interview. This depends on your performance. 
if you play your cards right means if you have done your work then perform well in the interview you can get up to 18% of the raise in your basic salary if you get the promotion so agar promotion hua to 18% tak 18% tak you can get the increment in your salary now the final thing the last verdict is the final salary now if you want to know in terms of ctc then ctc is 13 lakh rupees right it varies from 12.5 to 3 12.5 to 13.5 lakhs but i have just made it 13 lakhs and after removing everything all the deductions after removing all the nps and all the contributions eventually in hand salary is 70000 for isro scientist engineer sc please remember this and that's it from my side i hope i was able to tell you each and everything about the salary each and every component of the salary and now you know the exact amount that is going to be credited in your account every first of every month thank you so much for watching this video hit the like button share this video with all the friends who are preparing for isro and also subscribe to our channel right now my name is joshit singh and i will see you in another video with another psu with another salary videos on this channel only isi tarah ke aur salary wale videos ke liye ab is channel ko subscribe kare aur humko jo hai har video mein apna pyar de thank you so much for watching this take care of yourself and take care of your family have a nice day